Hello guys, welcome to Topic Zone. Today's topic is a history topic, which is mainly being learned on grade 9. Most of the people learn this on grade 9. So today we're going to talk about a specific person, Adolf Hitler. Many of you know him, maybe you have watched the documentaries on Netflix, or maybe you just know him, you just know him or search him, search him on YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about Adolf Hitler and everything he has done and everything you need to know about Adolf Hitler, how he, how he gained power on German society. So guys, it's very important that you listen. So without wasting any time, I'm going straight to the point. Adolf Hitler, April 20, 1889, April 30, 1945, was appointed Chancellor of Germany in 1933, following a series of electoral victories by the Nazi party. He rules absolutely until his death by suicide in April 1945. Upon achieving power, Hitler smashed the nation's democratic institution and transformed Germany into a war state intent on conquering Europe for the benefit of the so-called Iran race. His invasion of Poland on September 1, 1939 triggered the European phase of World War II. During the course of the war, Nazi military forces rounded up and executed 11 million victims they deemed inferior or undesirable. Life unworthy, of, un, life unworthy of life. Among them, Jews, slaves, homosexuals, and, and Jehovah's witnesses. Hitler had supreme authority as, as a Führer, leader or guide. That's, that's a, may, that may be a German word, by the way. But could not have risen in power, into power or committed such atrocities on his own. He had the active support of powerful German officer class of millions of everyday citizens who voted for National Social Socialist German Workers, Nazi Party, and held him as a national savior in gigantic stadium rallies. How were Hitler and the Nazis possible? How did such odious characters take and hold power in a country that was a world persister? in literature, art, architecture, and science, a nation that had a democratic government and a free press in, 19, in the 1920s. Hitler rose to power through the Nazi party, an organization he forged, he forged after returning as a wounded veteran from the un, annihilating trench warfare of World War I. He and other, portrait, other prothetic Germans were outraged and humiliated by the harsh terms of the Treaty of Versailles, which the Allies compelled the new German government, the Weimar Republic, to accept along with the obligation to pay 33 billion in war reparations. Germany also had to give up its price over sea colonies and surrender value parcels of home territory to, to France and Poland. The German army was radically downsized and the nation forbidden to have submarines or an air force. We shall squeeze the German lemon until the pimps squeak, explained one British official. Paying the crushing reparations destabilized the economy producing ruinings, runaway inflation. Most of the people know about the inflation situation that happened in Germany. By the September 1923, 4 billion German marks had an equal value of 1 American dollar. Consumers needed a wheelbarrow to carry enough paper money to buy a loaf of bread. You hear that, guys? A wheelbarrow to carry money to buy a loaf of, loaf of bread. What kind of situation is that? Hitler and the mesmerizing public speaker addressed a political meeting in Munich calling for a, G a new German order to replace what he saw as an incompetent and inefficient democratic regime. This new order was distinguished by an authoritarian political system based on the leadership structure in which authority flowed downward 
from a supreme national leader. In the new Germany, all citizens will unselfishly serve the state. Or work or democracy will be abolished and individual rights sacrificed for the good of the fewer state. The ultimate aim of the Nazi party was to seize power from through Germany's parliamentary, parliamentary system and install Hitler as dictator and create a community of racially pure Germans loyal, loyal to their Führer who will lead them in campaign of racial, racial cleansing and world conquest. Hitler blamed the Weimar Republic's public weakness on the influence of German Jewish and communist minorities, who he claimed were trying to take over the country. There are only two possibilities, he told a Munich audience in 1922, either victory of Aryan or any annihilation of, Aryan, of the Aryan and the victory of Jew. The young Hitler saw history as process of racial struggle with, with the strongest race. The Aryan race ultimately prevailing by force of arms mankind was as growing great in external war, Hitler wrote, it will decay in external peace. Jews represented everything the Nazis found repugnant. Finance capitalism controlled the Nazis believed by powerful Jewish financiers. International communism, Karl Marx was a German Jew and the leadership of the German Communist Party as he was heavily Jewish. And modest, modernist cultural movement like psychoanalysis and swing music. Nazi party foreign policy aimed to get to rid Europe of Jews and other inferior peoples, absorb pure-blooded Aryans into a greatly expanded Germany, a dead rage, and the wage unrelating war on the Slavic holders hold, hold, of Russia, considered by Hitler to be Antemistian Superman. Once conquered, the Soviet Union will be ruled by the German master race, which would ext exterminate or subdue millions of Slavs to create Labesram, living space. By the way, some of these words are German, and I'm not from German, for their own farms and communities. In a conquered and racially cleansed, cleansed Russia, they would work on model farms and factories connected to the homeland by new highways called autobahns. Hitler was the ideology as well as the chief organizer of the Nazi party. By 1921, the party had a newspaper as official flag and a private army. The stood met, met to look as a stormtroopers, made up largely of unemployed and dis disenchanted World War, World War I veterans. By 1923, the SA had grown to 15,000 men and had access to hidden stores of weapons. That year, Hitler, World War I hero General Erich Lenderdorf, attempted to overthrow the elected regional government of Bavaria in Cope, knowing known as a Beer Hall Putsch. Putsch. The regular army cast the rebellion, and Hitler spent a year in prison in Lewis and lost confinement in Landesberg prison. Hitler dictated most of the first volume of his political autobiography, Mein Kampf, My Struggle. The book brought together in inflamed language the racialist and expansionist ideas he had been pro propagating in his popular beer hall arrogance. By 1932, the Nazis were the largest political party in the Richard stack. In January of the following year, with no other leader able to command sufficient support to govern President Paul von Hindenburg, appointed Hitler Chancellor of Germany. Shortly after, after a fire broke out in the Richard stack building in Berlin, and the authorities arrested a young Dutch communist who confessed to starting it. Hitler used used this episode to convince President Hinderberg to declare an emergency decree 
suspending many civil liberties throughout Germany, including freedom of press, freedom of expression, and the right to hold public assemblies. The police were authorized to detain citizens without cause and the authority usually exercised by region, regional government because, because, become subject to control by Hitler's national regime. Almost immediately, Hitler began dismantling Germany's democratic institutions and imprisoning or murdering his chief opponents. When Hindenburg died the following year, Hitler took the titles of, uh, of Führer, Chancellor and Commander-in-Chief of the Army. He expanded the army tremendously, reintroduced conscription and began developing a new air force, all violation of the Treaty of of Versailles. Hitler's military spending and ambitious public works programs, including building a German autobahn, helped restore prosperity. His regime also suppressed the Communist Party and pushed his own paramilitary stormtroopers, whose violent street demonstrations alienated the German middle class. This bloodletting called the Night of the Long Knives was hugely popular and welcomed by the middle class as a blow struck for law and order. In fact, many Germans went along with the full range of Hitler's policies convinced that they would ultimately be adventurous for the country. In 1938, Hitler began his long-promised expansion of national boundaries to the incorporate elite. Nick Germans, he colluded with Australian, Australian Nazis to orchestrate the Anschluss loose. The annexation of Austria to Germany, and in Hitler's most brazenly aggressive act, yet, yet Slovakia was forced to surrender the Sudetenland, the Sudetenland a, mountain, a mountainous border region populated pro predominantly by ethnic, ethnic Germans. The Shirts looked to Great Britain and France for help, but hoping to avoid war. They had been blamed white in World War I. This nation chose the policy of appeasement at the, con at the, con at the conclave held at Munich in September 1938. Representatives of Great Britain and France compelled Shirts leaders to cede the See the Sudan ten land to return in return for Hitler's pledge not to seek additional territory. The following year, the German army swallowed up the remainder of Czechoslovakia. The British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain, Chamberlain, one of the signers of the Munich Pact, had taken Hitler at his word, returning to the Britain. With his agreement in hand, the proudly announcement that he had achieved peace with honor. I believe it is a peace for our time. After being released from prison, Hitler vowed to work within the parli parliamentary system to avoid a repeat of the Bear Hall Putsch setback. In, 19, in the 1920s, however, the Nazi Party was still a fringe group of ultra extremists with little political war. It received only 2.6% of the vote in richest stack elections of 1928 but the worldwide economic depression and the rising power of the labor unions and communists convinced the increasing numbers of germans to turn to the nazi party the nazi fed on bank failures and unemployment proof hitler said of the ineffectiveness of democratic government hitler pledged to restore prosperity and create civil order by crushing industrial strikes and street demonstrations by communists and socialists, eliminate the influence of Jewish financiers, and make the fatherland once again a power, a world of power. So guys, that's it about Adolf Hitler. All you need to know about Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party, this is all you need to know. It's a bit advanced knowledge, so by now, especially the great nines, they know everything about Adolf Hitler. They can be able to write an essay about Adolf Hitler. They know everything about Adolf Hitler. So guys, that's it about Adolf Hitler. How he grew in power in everything he needed. And how he conquered Europe. And how this has benefited Germany. And how it has also affected Germany. 
So guys, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and share the video. Peace.